So let us start with the first uh, concept that is your electronic configuration of D block elements. So first I will complete with the D block elements then come back to your F block elements. So whenever we are learning electronic configuration concept as I said first I will explain you the concept then I will start doing all the questions which are related to them. So for D block elements or when we speak about the transition elements and the general configuration for the transition elements is so let us write that first thing general configuration is how do you write general configuration we write using uh, the principal quantum num number isn't it ns right so ns <coughs> n minus 1 d okay let us write both ns starts from 0 to 2 i'm writing 0 also i'll show you why it is 0 and your n minus 1 d starts from 1 it ends till it's going to fill till 10 electrons in the d shell so now n minus 1 what are these two here n minus 1 is called penultimate shell penultimate uh, ultim okay penal ultimate shell right and your n minus 1 n minus 0 to 1 is outermost shell right done outermost shell now what happens is whenever one electron is adding into any element of the d block elements the electron will add into the inner penultimate shell n minus 1 d shell because the electron is entering into the n minus 1 d shell that is inner shell that means if we are, this is your nucleus and you have this right now i said <coughs> this is your n minus 1 shell and this is your ns shell now whenever electron is entering it's going to enter into this d shell only because it is entering into the d shell we call it as uh, a d block element so the electron fills into the d shell that is the in, uh, inner or uh, the penultimate shell that's why we call it as d block elements okay that's simple now let us see well, with an example now i said why did i take n uh, n 0 to 2 that i have to understand see i have marked some anomalies in the configuration let us see now whenever i speak 0 to 2 let us see what elements have now suppose i have i'm going to pick up a nickel right nickel what is the configuration right so nickel you have configuration and now i said this is your d block element d block d and d uh, d block so why did i pick up four places basically the d block is divided into 3d series 4d series 5d series and 6d series okay that means the incoming electron here enters into the in uh, inner d that is 3d hence it is called 3d series here it, it's entering into just see it's entering into inner 4f 4d so it is called 4d series there here the electron is entering into, entering into inner 5d so i've called it as 5d series here into 6d so <coughs> i call it as 6d it is there's no change in s orbital just see s already it's the outermost shell the valence shell now so in the in 3d series let me see what how do why did i call this as 0 to 1 so now in uh, 3d series let me pick up nickel as an uh, important thing so in nickel configuration is what 3d 8 4 is 2 3d 8 4 is 2 now let us come down exactly to this palladium palladium configuration when you see you have to write first d and then s s is valence electron please remember so you have to write 4d 10 so 4d 10 and here your <coughs> s if i see it is 5s0 right let us come down to platinum when i pick up platinum okay yeah platinum configuration if i see it is 5d9 6s1 so 5d9 6s1 so from where is n starting just see where is your ns starting ns is starting from 0 0 and ending at 2 that's why i've written 2 so this to show that uh, thing i picked up an example starting from 0 and ending till 2 and d as usual it is d1 to 10 okay hope you understood this concept remember in d orbital or d uh, block elements the electron enters into inner this is outer shell and this is inner shell don't get confused inner shell that's why it is called d block now let us start with the questions with this concept i think you can easily do all the questions let us see the first common question now they said zinc cadmium mercury are not considered as transition elements why i said zinc okay let us write the configuration let us write the answer for zinc when we speak about zinc what is the uh, uh, oh, valency of this or uh, what is the configuration for this the configuration for zinc is 3d 10 3d series and 4s2 
done next this is cadmium when i write cadmium cadmium is here again it is 4d10 and 5s2 4d10 5s2 now let us come back and see the vashme for mercury mercury is coming under 5d series so 5d10 6s2 5d10 6s2 so what are you finding here the in or the electron or the d shell is completely filled yes <laughs> you don't have any dd transitions also there is no excitation of electrons between the eg set and the t2g set so no no electron change okay i'll, I'll explain what is a t2g and eg set also so most important thing is whenever you you have you when whenever you say some element is transition elements important thing the electron has to enter into the d shell there should be a transition in the d shell then only i can call it as d block are you finding any uh, electron or nothing no transition isn't it no exchange or no shift of electrons to higher or higher state so because of the stable configuration d10 configuration i call i uh, we don't consider zinc cadmium and mercury as transition elements so how should you run right answer write this answer and finish it off due to stable d10 configuration dd transitions are not observed okay